This is Uncle Sam TV. Here at the beach, there are many problems. It is dirty, the sun is burning people's skins off, and there is just way too many perverts just hanging around. Why you wear these dark glasses for? The eyesores people don't see where I'm looking. Do you sometimes think that, wow, I just wish I didn't have to pervert the women? What can you do? At my age, that's all you can do. But luckily, I have a solution, and I call it the Burka Beach. Hello, uh, my name is Uncle Sam, and I'm here today with Jackie Townsend, who is the wife of the mayor of uh, Pitts, uh, Pitts Water. No, I am the mayor of Pitts Water. Uh, uh, what, what time will your husband be coming, the, the mayor? Uh, I am the mayor of Pitts Water. <laughs> Is this like a TV show, You Have Been Punk? <laughs> okay, I'll show you. I have a model. You can show this to the mayor. I want to unveil to you my plans for the beaches! Look at it! <laughs> the Boca Beach! Now, the entire facility is segregated. This is the men's beach, and they can enjoy the beach, the, the beautiful view of the water. So the women go to the beach inside here. It also doubles as a multi-level car park. These walls stop the men from doing the perv on the woman. Imagine you're a man and you're like, where is my woman? Well, she's, she's in the bucket beach. She cannot leave. You're beach. gonna put the women in a box? Not a box, a facility. World-class facility. When you tell the mayor, he will understand. Now that the wife of the mayor supports my plan, I can tell the lucky people what I will do to their beach. What do you think about the, uh, the problem with uh, too much uh, uh, heat for the, for the skin damage? Well, it probably is if people don't put hats on and cover themselves and yes. sent on a lot. That's right. You said they need to cover themselves. That's right. We, that's why we need an indoor, segregated, non-alcoholic uh, Muslim burqa oh, no, beach. No, no. I know we don't. Yes, she support. Even the UK wants it. Good. Yeah. Everyone is supporting burqa beach. Okay. No, I don't think so. <laughs> they say, hey, China. Come to the Burka Beach. Hey, China, come to the Burka Beach. It's better than a dim sim <laughs> because it's halal. Halal? <laughs> Until the Burka Beach is constructed, I will have to make this beach halal the old fashioned way. Hello, um, just want to know if, if you are, you are two, both married? You're not married? Then I, you need to move your towels, please. Just a couple of meters. Just a, a two meters. Come on, mate. <laughs> OK, that's fine. Now you just lie down and go back to sleep. Excuse me, who's this lady? All right. OK, can, can you cover your wife up, please? She's distracting. This is a halal beach, and you are dressed immodestly. Can you please just get inside the modesty tent, please? How to, how to fix this? Please stop perving on the women. You're perving on the women. You want to cover up your face? All the men are perving. All of them are perving. You don't even know. <laughs> well, I want the Burka Beach to embrace nature. You know, the birds, the bees, the fishes. So I'm here to talk to three naturists who are going to tell me how to make the Burka Beach more environmentally friendly. Oh, here they are. They are just having a swim. <laughs> hey, come on, guys. Come on. <laughs> I can't do this. I can't do this. I have to, I have to terminate the interview. I can't do it.